All right, that's another video coming at you, giving all glory and praises and honor that is due to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, GMS. Peace, mercy, and grace to the household of faith, the election. And I was inspired to do a uh, video speaking about uh, current news as I was watching it, watching this uh, episode from Fresh and Fit titled The Dark Future of Government Control That's Coming for Everyone which they played a video clip of someone going into this current news of the country Kuwait to freeze bank accounts of residents who resist biometric fingerprinting. And this is important because this shows you that, um, you know, we're in a time of, you know, pretty much um, a global, a globalization process is taking place. All right, globalization is the growth to a global or worldwide scale. Globalization is the increasing co connectedness and interdependence of world cultures and economies. Um, globalization is the process of interaction and integration among people, companies, and governments worldwide. This is where we at. Everything is becoming one, which is something that was done during the time of the uh, the, the uh, Hellenization period of the Greeks. Um, you know, this also goes back to Nimrod and ancient Babylon, um, in which the Lord responded uh, with that and, and, and confounded the languages and, 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 you know, split that shit up, um, which is the Lord is about to do now. He's about to, he's allowing the heathen to continue with their rage and he's about to put it into, you know, the plots and the devices of the heathen. And they're trying to get everyone into this system and then they want to govern the earth via ai right and this links into that to that uh, prophecy of revelation 13 chapter so i'm gonna go ahead and read a little bit of this and uh i pray it be edifying okay it says kuwait is mandating a biometric registration process for citizens and expatriates those who fail to register their fingerprints by the set deadlines will face consequences such as suspended government services and frozen bank accounts it is claimed that the reasons for enforcing the digital Excuse me. The uh, registration of digital biometrics are to enhance security and address dual nationality issues. However, this initiative aligns with global trends and biometrics and the sharing of our data with selected agencies. It is no coincidence that at the same time, the United Nations is pushing for a global digital compact to be adopted by 193 countries so it can play a significant role in the global governance of artificial intelligence the internet digital public goods and digital infrastructure yeah so again it's no coincidence that at the same time that the united nations is pushing for a global digital compact to be adopted by 193 countries and i think it's only 195 uh countries either 195 or 197 most of the countries are members of the United Nations. It says uh, so it can play a significant role in the global governance of artificial intelligence, which, again, this lines with that Rev 13. And the uh, video clip they actually play, the guy actually uh, quotes this. Now, he, he get to talking all that, the Antichrist stuff. And, you know, of course, they don't know what's going on, but average people are, are beginning to see what this is. Revelation 13, and it literally lays down the foundation necessary for this type of enforcement action that we read about that's going to take place with the final Antichrist and, of course, the false prophet. It all right. So this is this is the um, this is the infrastructure. This is the the uh, foundation of 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 uh, what's about to happen with that prophecy coming to pass, which is going to be a, a chip going into everybody, which that chip is going to have. Um, uh income that's going to be uh paid by the government or whatever um uh, infrastructure or whatever they could they might do away with local governments state governments national governments that just have one uh big national government or something like that i don't know but there is going to be a uh, income and he mentioned the end of christ and the false prophet so revelation 16 and 13 and i saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet yeah, and the dragon just pretty much represents the ancient Roman Empire, but it's also interchangeable with this system. Because you read Revelation, the 12th chapter, and it'll tell you the dragon will, will still be here because it will fight against uh, the Lord and his angels. 
So you got the mouth of the beast. The beast represents EU and NATO, uh, which just that's interchangeable with the dragon too. Because you you throw uh, you, you if you say NATO, you're including Babylon the Great. You say EU, you're not including Babylon the Great or Canada. So that's that's interchangeable too. The mouth of the false prophet. The false prophet is dealing with all these false religions, uh, but it begins with the Roman Catholic Church, which is ran by who? The uh, what's his name? The Pope. Pope Francis but it's all those different false religions from the Roman Catholic Church down to the to the um, to all them different ones uh, Jehovah's Witness um, Pentecostal you know all of them I don't know the name but if you was in the church you know what I'm talking about seven day of Venice all of those etc verse 19 and 20 it says and the beast was taken and with him the false prophet it says that wrought miracles before him with which he deceived them that re that had received the mark of the beast and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. And yeah, and, and the Pope is going to be used in part of deceiving people into lining up and getting this system. In my last video, I had br briefly spoke about this, but here it is right here. Pope uh, repeats calls for universal basal excuse me pope re repeats call for universal basic income pope francis has become a surprising figurehead in the universal basic income movement and this is all recent too this was two days ago pope francis has become a vocal advocate for vote for universal i keep fucking that shit up for ubi he first stated his position in a letter in 22 calling ubi critical to the future economy why because the future economy is going to be socialism is going to be communism It's going to be uh these people giving the the remaining people that, that stay on this earth giving them everything that they give them in exchange for their souls all right you're gonna to have to have a chip in your ass and that chip is going is going to receive these direct uh universal basic uh income payments all right so that's pretty much the point on that and as i saw something else too another article this one here Bernard kosler says ubi may be needed as ai takes over jobs and drives wealth disparity so yeah um shit, jobs are diminishing and man listen i believe that by next year this is going to be a thing next year and, 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 and just to show you way more um Way, Waymo just landed a deal with Uber and starting next year, these driverless vehicles are going to be picking people up in um, Austin and in Atlanta. So this is going to be more jobs taken away because Uber isn't really a job, but it's, it's self-employment. So it's like it's your own, you know, thing or your own business. Honestly, a lot of people treat it like businesses, but um way more uber expand partnership to bring autonomous ride hailing to Austin and atlanta and it's only going to continue i'm surprised they ain't got san francisco ready yet but way more to lunch in atlanta and austin and this is coming early next year all right robo taxi and these uh vehicles the waymo vehicles actually be riding past us every saturday in camp and what they're doing they have people driving them but they're driving them to collect data Cause they about to release these things, man. These things about to be out here. All right. So. You know, just keeping an eye on the UN and, you know, these so-called world leaders and what they're talking about. Cause if, if the United Nations is 103, 193 nations, and which is that's over 90% of the, all the nations on the earth, then all nations are about to get ready to come in too. Um, all nations are about to be on board with this and they all about to get ready to push this, you know, real soon. So I'm going to close with the, with the scripture of the day, Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads or in their foreheads. So you're going to have a chip in the hand or you're going to have a chip in the, in the, um, in your head. Um, it says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So buying or selling, again, going back to the original article, 
<clears throat> Kuwait is mandating a biometric registration process for everyone. Those who fail to register their fingerprints by the set deadlines, which is a mandate, he calls it all, will face consequences such as suspended government services and frozen bank accounts. So you won't be able to buy or sell. Your money is going to be uh, untouchable. See? And this isn't the actual prophecy itself, but again, this is just uh, the foundation of it. So if people do not meet the fingerprinting deadline, their electro electronic banking channels will be disabled, bank cards will be blocked, and their accounts will be frozen. However, deductions for loans and mortgages will continue. So you still going to have payments coming out that motherfucker, but you ain't going to be able to use it. It says, while tra travel rights will not be affected, illegal residents crossing the border will be required to submit fingerprint Excuse me. It says, while travel rights will not be affected, illegal residents crossing the border will be required to submit fingerprint registrations. In March 2024, it was revealed that the country also intends to share biometric data as part of a regional security network. Also, I wanted to bring out just a side note that this is in Kuwait, right? Check this out. Top 10 strongest currencies in the world in September 2004. Guess what number one is? The strongest currency in the world is Kuwait, the Kuwaiti dinar. The strongest currency in the world with one dinar buying $3.26. All right. And number 10 is Babylon the Great, the U.S. dollar. Okay, with $1 buying $1. All of the units across the, the globe are worth less than a, a buck. All right, so that's just a little fun fact I wanted to bring out too with that. So, you know, we here, man. Um, we'll close. Second Corinthians two and eleven: Let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. All right, I pray it was edifying. On to the next one.